Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I am Dory, I am back with my weekly update, a day late. Um, so yes, so I am actually going to eat along with um, doing the video so I can kill two birds with one stone, but also because I tend to eat slower when I am talking to you guys. So this is what is on my plate today. I have a lot of delicious fat. Yum, yum, yum. Um, these are olives, Greek uh, olives. I just picked up at BJ's. Uh, six olives was like 32 calories maybe, no carbs. Um, I have four slices of Trader Joe's no nitrate and no um, added whatever bacon. And then I have the pork belly, three ounces from Trader Joe's. So... We're breaking our fast together. Mm, 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 mm. I love this. This is so good. So anyways, welcome back to my channel. This is where I um, film things related to weight loss, uh, life, different updates, really whatever's going on in my life. I've kind of had you guys along for the ride. So today is no different. Um, so I have been struggling the past couple of months with um, putting more weight on. After I filmed a video a couple of months ago, I had actually gotten down to 172, I believe it was. And I was thrilled. It was the end of December, maybe the beginning of January. And then I had a whole bunch of medical things happen. I was put on antibiotics, um, yada, yada, yada. My cycles, again, are, I don't even know. Um, so I, um, what you call it? So I ended up putting on a lot of weight. And then for whatever reason, uh, I did mention in a previous video that sometimes I feel like um, where I get one part of my life worked out and I'm working on another part and then I can get that part almost done and then the first part that I thought I was over kind of comes back and so um, that is kind of what's going on I think I kind of you know figured I was over the whole hump with um, you know being able to um, sorry I have to have a bite um, not bingy, uh, things of that nature. And, but what I'm coming to realize is that I can't really not focus on it a hundred percent. Now, I will say if you guys are, um, pre-op and you're watching this, the best piece of advice I can give you is to go go and listen to all the advice that your surgeon and um, your nutritionist and dietitian and everything support groups are giving you. Um, go as hard as you can. Don't try to test out certain foods here and there um, to see if you can tolerate them, especially things that are contain sugar or added carbs or you know things of that nature. So by the time you get out to, I am almost two and a half years out. I can't even believe it. On the 12th of this month, it will be two and a half years. Um, the time has flown by. Um, I just can't even believe it. I'm, I'm in shock how quickly that time has passed. And so basically, uh, I feel like in one area of my life, I was, you know, figuring the whole deal out with, keeping the weight off and I was doing so well and I got down on the scale, but then I got emotional things that happened and I have kid issues that happened. And my husband, as you know, is away with the military. And so it is just myself home with the children. He is absolutely amazing and gives me support um, over the phone and through FaceTime and things of that nature. But He's not physically here, so he can't really share a hundred percent in what we're doing. And so, you know, I have some issues with my son and autism, which 
let me detour here. I have a meeting at one o'clock Eastern time. I think it's around noon now. Maybe it's by 1130, but in any event, um, if you guys can just say a prayer for that meeting, it's kind of a meeting to see where we go from here. He does have um, an evaluation and a testing next week in Worcester, Massachusetts, um, which is pretty, pretty intense. And so we're going to kind of get some um, answers and an IEP and things like that na uh, of that nature worked out. And so, mm, 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 mm. I think I'm going to go back to Chair Joe's and get more of this pork belly. It's so easy to make and it's so good. And I'm really hoping that by eating the low, low, low carb and higher fat and moderate protein that I will lose that weight. Let me actually go back because last week um, I, I don't remember what I said I was on here last week, but I don't remember. I do know a couple of days ago I saw 186. Guys, that scared the bejeebers out of me because I had, that's so close, like that's closer to 190 than it is to 180. <laughs> and so when I saw the 186, I thought, oh my goodness gracious. And so I knew I had to do something. And so um, yesterday I was 184. So I was 186, then 184, and today I was 182. And so I'm going in the right direction. Yesterday I ate strictly keto. I had only 17 grams of carbs, good protein, good fat. Um, today I'm doing about the same thing. Um, I've been back to doing intermittent fasting. I had a question on my previous video uh, asking how many hours I do it. I try to shoot for 16 hours, um, you know, from the time I stop eating the night before until I eat again, 16 to 18 hours. Normally it's 16. Uh, but I do have a coffee in the morning. And now I know that breaks my fast for everybody who's watching, who's going to say, oh my gosh, she don't know that it breaks her fast. I better tell her. I know it breaks my fast. I'm choosing to have my morning coffee. It keeps me sane. Uh, it gives me the energy to get to be a happy mommy in the morning and to get my kids off to school and to cook all the different breakfasts. I have four kids, three different schools, two buses. Um... I bring one of mine to school, and so it keeps me sane in the morning, and I love my coffee. There are mornings I don't have it, but I would say five out of seven mornings I have a coffee. So with that said, I know that breaks my fast, but in my mind, I do not eat solid food until about um, 16 hours after my last meal. Um, so basically, I stopped eating last night at 6.30. So let's see, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 30, 30, 11.30. So I went 17 hours uh, today before I'm eating now with you guys. Um, I do have a second cup of coffee. I am Sam. Sam, I am. Um, only really because I don't usually have a, a second cup. Um, but I am trying to go to the bathroom because I think that might be a little bit of an issue as well. And also, um, I had bought K-Cups at a store. And on one of the K-Cup um, boxes, it didn't say for use in all K-Cup, in, in all uh, Keurig machines. And so I was afraid it w wouldn't work. And so I just needed to know in advance if I needed to return it or not. But it worked. So this is my second cup. Um... So, let's see, what else is going on? Let me, I know it's untraditional to go back in the middle of a video and recap, but let me just say that for anybody who may be new here, I am Dory, I'm 46 years old, um, five foot four inches tall. I am, I live in Western Massachusetts. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery on September 12th, 2016 with Dr. Darren Tischler in Hartford, Connecticut at Hartford Hospital. My highest ever weight was 350 pounds. Um, I did a pre-op liquid diet prior to doing the surgery 
and I didn't lose all the weight off of that from my surgery weight from 350, but I was probably 330, I think, or something when I, maybe I was three, let me think what it was. I think I was 312, I think, when I went right before I started doing the pre-op diet. In any event, I was 300.5 uh, when I had surgery two and a half years ago, and so today I was 182, and that is some regain. The lowest I have seen, which I felt really good at that weight, was 169.6. My goal overall is to be 160. Um, I'm going to try to get there. I, I don't know how I'll feel at 160. I might like 165 better. But in any event, I'm going to shoot for 160 and see what happens. So, sorry about that. I totally forgot that there may be people watching now that don't know me. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, bit of bad news. Um, I had come to you guys in a video maybe a month ago. And I had told you guys I was going to become a Mimi and my daughter was pregnant. Well, unfortunately, she went to the doctors and the baby stopped um, growing. So, let's see. She was 11 weeks at the appointment and um, the baby stopped grow growing at 9. So, she's, of course, devastated. And because her cervix is closed and she's not dilated or anything like that, she still has the baby inside her. So... They're figuring out what to do, and she was really hoping and praying that it would, you know, come out itself and and all that. Um, so if you guys can also say a prayer for her, um, that would be great. Her name is Sarah. Um, and so, yeah, so that's kind of a bit of bad news with all the other stuff going on. And what else? I have a month and a half until my husband comes home. Mm, he is in Texas. Let's see what else. Mm, let's see. Oh, I did a food haul um, a couple days ago, last week. I put that up. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else I'm telling you guys. I should write stuff down. I know Scotty from Scotty RNY. He writes his stuff down. He's so good. Um, hmm. What else? Yeah, I don't know. Just really trying to do a, I don't know if you'd call it lazy keto or keto. I'm I'm trying to get under, keep under like 25 uh, carbs all day. Um, That's kind of what I'm doing. I eat two meals a day. I'll eat one now. And I'll eat another about... Um, what time would I probably eat? Maybe four. Maybe four-ish. And then that's it. Um, I'm getting about 1,100 calories. I was getting, oh my gosh, guys, a couple days ago. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like ravenous, and I had like 2,500 calories. Uh, that was two days ago. So, of course, that's probably why I lost the four pounds in two days. <laughs> My body is like, oh my goodness, what is this girl doing to us? Um. Anyway, so, what else? I'm so sorry to chew in front of you guys. And I actually don't really drink while I eat. At least I try not to. Once in a great while, I'll slip up. Um, what else? I think that's it. If you guys want me to do videos on anything, let me know. Like maybe what I do at the gym, when I go to the gym. Um, for anybody who's new or new-ish, um, especially if you're pre-op, I was talking to a friend yesterday who doesn't didn't have the surgery. She's thinking about having the surgery. She's battled weight her whole life. And until I said it yesterday, she had never thought of this. And now she knows why she's been doing it wrong the whole time. So we're talking about diet and what we eat and low-carb things and what that means and things, hidden carbs and different things that you might not know are carbish and sugars and turning into carb and blah, 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 blah. 
or carbs turn into sugar. Um, but yesterday I had said to her, she said, oh gosh, I have to go to the gym. I should go every day for a couple hours. And so I said to her, I said, you know, it's 90% diet and 10% at the gym. And she's like, what? She said, that's crazy. I said, no. I said, I'm telling you. I said, it's 90% what you put in your mouth and 10% exercising. If you um, eat, eat like crap and go to the gym for four hours every single day, you will not lose any weight. Just because you're feeding your body crap, all that crap, you can't work that off. You can't eat 2,500 calories and, you know, 500 grams of carbs and eat like that for a long time and then go to the gym, you know, every single day and think that you're going to just get a toned body. That that doesn't happen. It, 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 you know, and so if anybody thinks that, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's, that's a farce. That's not true. That is terribly false. Um, so with that said, going to the gym should be something as like a stress reliever, a something that you do that you enjoy and not, you don't begrudgingly do it because, oh my gosh, I went out this weekend and I party, party hard and I ate terrible and I'm going to go to the gym for three days and then I'm going to do terrible again for the next upcoming weekend. Mm, no, isn't going to, isn't going to happen. It's not how we work. Mm -mm, not gonna happen so anyhow with that I'm going to go and get ready for the meeting at my son's school and I hope you guys have a good week any questions post them below bye